wetter. I've been gloomy for several moons. But on that day, the thunder rang louder, and the lightning struck the earth, which trembled with all its soul. The dry twigs and the old moss ignited. The wind mingled in the undergrowth, then some trees caught fire. Soon, the huge blaze rose, devouring everything in its path. The panic forest dwellers ran in all directions. Many took refuge in high places from where, helpless and silent, they witnessed the disaster. Suddenly, there was a humming sound, then another, and again and again. It was a tiny hummingbird that carried in its beak a drop of water that it dropped over the fire. Then he set off again to find a new cargo. The fox, thinking it was very clever, undertook to taunt him. You're ridiculous, hummingbird. You'll never be able to put out the fire with a few drops of water. Everybody started laughing at the little bird, which replied, No doubt, but at least I'm doing something. You're right, confesses the fox. And to repair his cowardice, he took command. Bear, deers, and beavers, forge a dike at the creek with birch trees. Hare, marmots, moles, hands, and all those who scratch, dig a ditch there. Birds and flying insects, water the dwellings. Everyone got involved to the extent of their ability, so well that the flames were able to be held in respect. All were proud to have achieved such a great feat. Soon, what the fire had blackened became green again. It was a real paradise. Listen, we can hear from here. The dove says, the tale is over.